Hi everybody, this is Coach from Curry from Baseball by the Yard. Today's video tips are for pitchers, but they could also be for base runners too because I'm going to show something that pitchers should not do uh, in part because it will allow base runners sometimes uh, a greater ability to steal. So it's also for base runners so that if you see this in pitchers, you might see this guy as a better candidate to steal. Now the title of this is Head Snap or Glove Guy okay or something along those lines so let me explain what that means I'm basically talking about the situation where a pitcher is getting set to throw and there is a runner at second base now it could be a runner at second base by themselves, or it could be a runner on first and second but the point is there is a runner at second base and that pitcher has to try to hold that runner on now how the pitcher does it uh, that's what gets into whether he does it in a head snap uh, fashion or whether he becomes a glove guy. So let me explain what both of those uh, actually are. Now, first of all, the head snap involves the transition between holding the runner and actually delivering your pitch. So it's gonna look like this. Pitcher's gonna get the sign, he's gonna come set, he's gonna look back uh, at the runner at second base. Now, when he is ready to go home plate, if he is a head snap guy, as soon as he's ready to deliver his pitch, he's gonna lift his knee up and at the same exact time, he's going to snap his head towards home plate. So there's no delay between his head going forward and his knee comes up. It's simultaneous. Soon as he moves his knee up, his head snaps forward and he delivers the pitch, okay? The second option is you'll see some pitchers do this and they are what I call a glove guy. And there's some other names for it, so the names really don't matter. It's basically just what the pitcher actually does. So in this case here, the pitcher will come set, he will look back at the runner, but before he delivers to home plate, he will turn his head to pick up the catcher's glove, lock on it, and then he lifts his knee up to go home. Now, that's the type of pitcher that if I'm a base runner, that's the guy who is a better candidate to steal on. The head snap guy is tough because there's no delay between snapping his head and lifting his knee. So it's very tough for me to get a great jump. The second guy, the glove guy, if I get in that habit of looking back at the runner and then I turn to look at the catcher, that runner sometimes can take off right now and then when I bring my knee up, it's too late. I can't stop. So sometimes the base runner can get a better jump uh, early if you are a glove guy. So if you're a pitcher, avoid being a glove guy. Turn yourself into a head snap guy so that you do not allow that runner at second base to make it to third base easily on a walking lead or an early lead. Um, now another thing that will come up here on that glove guy is sometimes before he lifts his knee up, someone yells, step off, step off, because they see the runner taking, taking off. So if I'm that glove guy and I'm in the process of just about to lift my knee and I hear step off, I, I balk and then I've just screwed everything up. So the point is, if you're a pitcher, be a head snap guy. Don't lock onto that glove before you lift that knee up. And if you're a base runner and you're on second base, make sure you are looking for those pitchers who pick up that glove before they lift their knee. They might be a better candidate uh, for stealing third base. So that's your tip for today for pitchers and base runners. Take a look for that. If you're a coach, make sure your pitchers are not making that basic mistake. All right, folks, take care, have a good day, and thanks for watching.